Hi, my name is Siavash Irani. I'm a senior solutions architect with the AWS team. And in this video, I'll show you how to take Microsoft VSS enabled snapshots using AWS Systems Manager. Let's get to it. We are going to cover what is VSS and why should we use it? What are the requirements to take Microsoft VSS enabled snapshots using AWS Systems Manager? And at the end, we will have a demo on how this is done. So what is VSS and why should we use it? VSS or Volume Shadow Copy Service is a backup technology in Microsoft Platform that allows backing up the data that is in use. It prevents data inconsistency during backups and also it's compatible with both Microsoft SQL Server and Exchange Server. So let's assume that you have a SQL Server that is writing to a disk and at the same time, you want to create a snapshot from that disk. Creating the snapshot can take some time, and if during this time there are writes to the disk, there is a chance of a data inconsistency on the snapshot. The volume shadow copy service tells the SQL Server to temporarily freeze write I.O. requests, then it flushes the file system buffers, and then freezes the file system which ensures that the file system metadata is recorded correctly and the data to be shadow copied is written in a consistent order. So what are the requirements to take Microsoft VSS enabled snapshots using AWS Systems Manager? First, we need an IAM role with the following policies. EC2 role for SSM, which grants SSM service to access the instance and also we need describe instances, create tags, and create snapshots. Also, we need to have AWS VSS components downloaded and installed on the instance, which download and install can also be done using AWS Systems Manager. With that, let's get to the demo section. Okay, for the demo, I've created this uh, SQL Server, which uh, is running a database on its uh, D drive on a secondary EBS volume. And uh, what I want to do is uh, create a VSS-enabled uh, snapshots uh, from this EBS volume. Before I can do that, I need to create the required IAM roles. So from EC2 console, I'm going to open IAM console here. And then I click on policies. And here, when I click on uh, create policy, I'm going to choose JSON. I'm going to paste this. This is actually from our um, VSS documentation. Basically what it does, it allows to create tags for snapshots and also describe EC2 instances and create snapshots. And I hit review policy. I'm, just, I'm gonna just call it VSS and create policy. After this, I need to go to roles and create a role. I choose EC2 here and hit next. Then I'm going to search for EC2 role for SSM. This is required so we can uh, grant access to AWS Systems Manager. If, you ha if your instance is already being managed by AWS Systems Manager, probably you don't need this uh, policy. And also I'm going to assign that VSS policy that I just created. I'm calling it uh, VSS Access. It's recommended to put a, a good description here. For now, for demo purposes, I'm gonna leave it blank and I hit create role. Okay, now the role is created. Next thing I need to do is to as attach it to my instance. So from services, I'm going to click on EC2 and then click on instances, find my instance, right click on it and under instance settings, I choose attach or replace IAM role and I choose VSS access. And I hit apply. This will allow the instance to be managed uh, by uh, AWS Systems Manager service as well. I'm going to click on services and click on systems manager here. Next thing I need to do is to install the VSS components on this instance. I'm going to click on state manager and click on create association. I can give it a name like VSS install. 
and then I choose AWS Configure AWS Package Document. This document can be used to install different AWS components, including the uh, VSS components. I'm going to set the action to install. And remember this name is uh, case sensitive, so I'm gonna type it in, AWS VSS Compo. And I'm going to choose the latest version and I can specify the instance here. Remember this uh, schedule, uh, I'm going to set it to 30 days. Basically this allows us to make sure that uh, the instance is always running the latest version of those uh, VSS components. And it's important to have that. Because otherwise I could just install it one time only using run command. Now I'm going to click on uh, create association and this should install the VSS components on the instance. Okay, now the installation is finished and it shows success here. Uh, next thing I need to do is, uh, uh, basically the instance is now ready uh, for the VSS snapshot to be created. But before I do that, uh, for demo purposes, I've created a database on D drive. And also what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, run this query, which basically writes down the current time into a table on that database. And uh, it's gonna do it in a loop. While it's doing it, I'm going to create a VSS snapshot. So I'm gonna execute this. And I'm going to call the VSS uh, snapshot call. Now, to do that, I need to go to run command. And click on run command here. I need to look for the document for the VSS snapshot. So it starts with AWS EC2. And this one, create VSS snapshot. I'm gonna choose that one. Exclude boot volume. Actually, I do want to exclude it because I don't have any data there. Uh, I can add a description uh, to my uh, snapshots and also a tag like, you know, VSS and VSS. And I just need to specify my instance here. I don't want uh, any logs at this point to be sent to S3 uh, and I'm going to hit run. Okay, so uh, what's gonna happen in the back end? If we go back to EC2 console and look at the snapshots, there will be a snapshot that should show up here very soon. It's gonna take a while since uh, basically first it needs to run the AWS components on the instance and then after that it starts the API call. Okay, now the uh, snapshot is being created. It's at 17%. Uh, started at this time. And at the same time, my query is still running here. Okay, now the snapshot is created. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually, um, I want to create a volume from this snapshot and attach it to another instance so we can see the content of that table uh, and also the, uh, time that it was created. So I don't need to do anything actually with this instance. I'm going to stop the query and I'm going to uh, connect to my other instance. Okay, now I RDP to, that, to my other secondary instance. Uh, I just need to attach uh, a volume which is created from the backup snapshot here. So I'm going to the snapshots, right click on this volume, uh, this snapshot. And my instance is in uh, US East 1A. I'm gonna create it. And then I'm going to attach this volume to that verifier instance. So I click on attach volume. I'm gonna choose this one. Okay, the volume is here now. The database is here. I just need to attach this database. So I go to under databases, click attach. going to choose this one, this data, bring it up. Okay, now the database is loaded and I'm going to read the content of that table that I was uh, writing the current time to it. I'm gonna do select star from table one 
and let's scroll all the way down. I want to look at the last entry in this table. It's 16.35.12, of course the time is in UTC. And if we go back here and look at the, uh, you, uh, the time that the snapshot was created, it's actually exactly the same time that uh, this, uh, uh, this database was also writing the last entry to. With that, uh, we get to the end of our demo. Great, now you can see how it's possible to take Microsoft VSS enabled snapshots using AWS Systems Manager. Hope it helps and thanks for watching.